hi everyone welcome to my channel so today in this video I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful buttoned uh, neckline so to make this neckline uh, I'm just preparing a boat neckline so uh, in plenty of my video I showed you how to make a boat neckline so this is going to be like a boat shape and I have uh, marked the armhole and the sides and now first I'm going to start by cutting my neckline so just like that i'm going to cut into my boat neckline it doesn't need to be only boat neckline you can keep any neckline as you like so today i'm going to show you the technique how to attach those um, thermocol ball buttons to the neckline to give a beautiful finish so it just looks really invisible they, you can't even identify where the button how the button has been attached to the neckline and so today I'll be showing you the trick so take a cotton fabric fold that in half make sure that the folded edge of your kurti neckline matches the folded edge of the uh, fabric and place that underneath and you're going to mark the exact shape of the neckline and you're going to cut on the exact shape okay so this is a very simple and very very beautiful neckline so once you made the neckline you're going to leave a marginal amount of fabric and you're going to cut the same just leaving a one inch of fabric outside and you're going to cut this out okay so little by little you're going to cut into that one inch of elements okay so now you're going to take this piece and you're going to place that on top of the interfacing canvas so now i took my interfacing canvas make sure that the folded edge of the piece going to match the folded edge of your interfacing canvas like this okay so the both the folded edge should match like this and make sure that you mark the inner edge of the neckline that's the exact curve of the neckline before cutting this always mark the neckline before cutting okay so now i'm going to cut on the exact marked line on my canvas okay so when you do the same on the canvas uh, i'm not going to cut the exact one inch elements that i gave to my fabric so this fabric has a one inch of elements that I'm not going to give the same to my interfacing canvas. Perhaps I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. See, very little and I'm going to mark another line and I'm going to cut on that. Okay. So it can be a really a marginal amount of canvas should be reduced from the exact measurement and I'm going to cut on the exact line that I have marked. So now I got my interfacing canvas and this interfacing canvas should be lined on the fabric so first I'm going to sew on the top and the next I'm going to fold the fabric underneath and I'm going to finish off the neckline so this is the uh, folded edge of the fabric the center point of the fabric so make sure I'm going to uh, cut into the fabric so it doesn't have any precise measurement as much buttons you want you can attach to that so i'm going to cut into the fabric like this okay so you'll get a very big opening at the center so make sure that you take the center point and you cut on the center and this is the place where i'm going to attend the buttons so first let me measure and check the length of this so the length of this opening is like till 10 inch so for every one inch i'm going to place this button so totally i just need a 10 of this thermocol ball buttons so i'm just giving a mark for every one inch like this so this is how the buttons going to look like this is what i'm talking about and um, these are the thermocol ball buttons that i pre-prepared and i show you how to do this so this is the thermocol balls available in the market so same color thread and the fabric so make sure you cut the fabric in an exact square piece okay 
and now I'm going to put the thermocol ball in the exact center of this fabric so you can take any size make sure that if you take one size please stick on the, to that particular size so now just place the ball inside the fabric and make sure that you don't see any kind of wrinkles or folding on top of that and you're going to tie a knot with the help of your thread the same color thread should be used and I'm going to put a two to three knots to secure the ball inside the fabric and that's it it's done very simple and easy to make so same like this I'm going to make 10 out of this thermocol balls and I show you how to attach these to my neckline so in that one inch of marking I'm going to attach these thermocol balls okay so one by one you're going to sew on top of the fabric make sure that the thermocol balls should be on your left hand side and the all the raw edges of the fabric should be in your right hand side okay so this how I'm going to place one by one and I'm going to sew the entire neckline with, with this thermocol balls okay so if you don't get thermocol balls you can use any kind of beads so just place the beads inside the square fabric and you can tie a knot like this okay so if you're adding a thermocol balls make sure that you don't press the thermocol ball with your iron so it just melts and it loses that uh, round like structure and now i'm going to trim out the excess fabric hanging out because I'm going to turn this in okay so now I'm going to take the exact uh, a long strip of fabric so if you take this neckline is to be 10 inch make sure that the uh, piece of fabric should be like 13 to 14 inches and I made the same cut to the neckline that is the uh, to the fabric and uh, now I'm just attaching the piece of fabric on top of my uh, thermocol balls okay make sure that you sew on the exact margin of the thermocol balls like this okay so it's a long piece of fabric and i made a long cut to that that is still 10 inch okay so if you are making the neckline till 12 inch make sure that these piece of fabric should have a slit till 12 inch so it just depends upon the how length the neckline is so when you get to the end point you're going to put the needle in and you're going to turn like this and just make sure that you cut into the exact point and here comes the tricky part so you're going to turn the one side that is the left hand side of the thermocol ball neckline completely in okay so the cotton fabric should be tucked in completely okay and towards the right hand side make sure that the fabric is hanging out that is I show you the wrong side of the fabric so that you can understand what I'm talking about okay so this is how I'm tucking that so to the wrong side you can see just pull the fabric and just fold that in like such so that the right hand side of the fabric will be seated opened like this so now the thermocol balls neckline should be placed on the another side of the fabric so this is how it's going to look very simple and uh, it needs a little bit of practice so now I'm going to sew on the exact margin to finish off the neckline it's very simple and easy to make but uh, you need to be a little bit patient in folding the fabric so once the fabric is in exact place you can place your thermocol ball neckline on top of that and you're going to sew on the exact margin of your thermocol balls so that it would be exactly seated on that fabric okay so little by little you're going to hold the thermocol balls in place while sewing so that 
it just stays on the exact position so it's done so once after finishing this you're going to make your neckline so first I'm just placing my interfacing canvas on a piece of fabric that I've prepared and now I'm sewing the inner neckline of the interfacing canvas like this okay and once it's done add some notches to the curves of the interfacing uh, neckline so now just folding the fabric on the interfacing canvas I'm going to sew the down part of the neckline like this okay so once it's done this would be attached to the neckline so the center point of the interfacing canvas should match the center point of the neckline and I'm going to sew at the exact margin of the interfacing canvas like this and once it's done I'm going to add some notches to make the turn nice and neat fold the interfacing canvas in and you're going to sew at the exact margin like this and that's it your neckline is ready it's going to be the end result of the dress and this is how it's going to look you can make any kind of neckline that is U neckline or a boat or a V you can still make this pretty little button like type to your neckline when you wear a dress like this most of them will wonder how these little things has been attached to the front side of the neckline so it just came out really beautiful hope you like this video it's a very simple and very very beautiful neckline and if you like this video and if you want more designer neckline videos like this don't forget to hit on the subscriber button below and don't forget to hit on the thumbs up if you want more Kriti neckline like this so see you next time with a different kind of style take care bye bye